What's going on, Doc and fam? Welcome back to the channel, guys. <laughs> I woke up, checked my Doc and battle, and I saw this man's photo looking at me, and I got so excited, as I'm sure many of you did as well. The new Dragon Ball Super Broly is coming to Dokken sooner than I ever expected. I didn't think we would see this Broly until like sometime in the middle of next year. Because it would probably come out for JP first and then for Global because that's how things always go down. But that's not what's happening guys. We are getting Broly sooner than ever. We just don't know what form he's coming in. Is he going to be an SSR on a banner? Is he going to be... Um, a free-to-play unit that we get? Is he gonna be, I don't know, an exclusive LR that's the most badass unit in the game? One can hope and dream. But let's take a look at this announcement really quick, guys. Uh, so Dragon Ball Super Movie announcement celebration coming soon. Come check out the first-hand information. Oh, this banner looks so cool. Come challenge Broly that appears in the movie. So Broly that appears in the movie will show up in the new Extreme Z battle. New login bonus event and special miss missions will also be available. So I don't know, usually when there's new characters announced like this and there's new special missions um, and, they're, and they're featured like this, a lot of times you can grind out um, a mission or maybe grind out the story that's coming out and, or this event that's coming out and probably unlock this Broly in the mission. Obviously we won't know until it happens, but I mean, I'm... I'm really hoping they don't make it a summable unit only. I hope the first time that this Broly hits Dock in Battle, you get him through those special missions, and then later in the future, you know, they can dink us over, you know, making him super hot to get on summable banners. <laughs> but for now, it would just be so... I mean, guys, let's think about this. The movie's coming out. They want to play on all this hype. I'm, I'm thinking... If they're going to use this more as a marketing ploy to get people excited to go see the movie, they're probably going to make it a free-to-play unit because everyone's going to pull this unit off of Dock and Battle. They're going to be able to see him, play with him. It's going to make them want to go see the movie even more. That's just my opinion. Uh, and now we get to stay tuned for the upcoming Dragon Ball Super Move Me announcement celebration. On top of that, you can visit the official site of the movie following the link, blah, 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 blah. We can check that out later. So, I mean, guys... Broly is coming. There's a new EZA event coming. We don't know what to expect. I mean, this this is just this is just so much hype. Like, we don't even know. Like, if, if this card becomes available and it has a transformation, like Ultra Instinct Goku, where he hits a certain thing and goes berserk, that would be super crazy. I mean, at this point, we can speculate, and I definitely want to know what you guys think down in that comment section below. But as for me, my speculation, and if I'm right on this. If I'm right on this, that'd be pretty cool. My speculation is he's going to be an obtainable unit through the special missions, um, and you're going to be able to use the Extreme Z battle in order to awaken him to, you know, a TUR of Super Attack of 15, like any other Extreme Z unit. Uh, and they're definitely going to make him a drop character to get everyone super excited to go see the movie. That's that's where I'm going with this. And then the other announcement: uh, the fruit of the tree of might contains incredible power. Get ready to fight the Universe Destroyer. So we have Turles coming back. Turles is making an appearance. We are finally going to get the category leader for Big Bad Bosses. This is a really awesome team to use. As you guys know, I used one of my exclusive Dragon Stones to finally get myself um, a Fizz Cooler because I've never been able to pull this unit. So let's take a look at this really quick. Uh, the fruit of the tree of might will bestow incredible power upon the universe destroyer. Fight him and seize the victory. A new docking event is drawing near. A new, you know what the best thing about new events is? All my free to play players, you get dragon stones. Well, everyone get dragon stones, but this is your chance to start collecting dragon stones. I mean, an announcement like this means the unit's probably going to be coming very soon, maybe even next week. As it says, event period coming soon. Please note whatever whatever is available to change the date. I mean, he could drop literally on Monday. I mean, we're pretty much done with the third year anniversary. All the LR banners have come out. So getting a new unit like this would be really great. And I actually, guys, I wanted to show you the unit firsthand just to save you the trouble. So let's see here. Boom. There we go. Okay. So give me one second. Let me go to that screen. So this is the unit right here. Crushing Force Turles. Okay. 
And Crushing Force Turles, as you see, is an AGO unit. Um, oh, I'm sorry, it's not Big Bad Bosses, it's Movie Bosses. He is the category leader for Movie Bosses. Uh, and he does category key plus two, and HP attack and defense plus 120 or 20%, or extreme class key plus two, and HP attack and defense plus 40%. His super attack skill causes immense damage to enemy with a medium chance to stun, so it'll probably be a really good chance to stun once you TUI him. And his passive skill, as my boy Tiger has said, has one of the best passive skills in the game. At this point, key plus two, and attack plus 35% for all allies, and then super class enemies attack minus 10%. So this unit is going to be clutch when doing the, um, the super battle road, if you haven't done it with your AGL Extreme team yet. And then if we scroll down here, we can go to the awakened form of him, which actually has a few different stages, so check this out. Um, now that he is awakened, Movie bosses, category key plus three, HP attack and defense plus 150%, or extreme class key plus three, and HP attack and defense plus 50%, uh, causes a match damage with a medium, okay, so it's still a medium chance to stun the enemy, which is still freaking awesome, but his passive skill now increases to key plus three and attack plus 40% for all allies, and now super class enemies attack is minus 15%, and then he eats the fruit of the Tree of Might when conditions are met. And this is really cool, guys. Uh, any unit that I have that has a transformation, especially my favorite, favorite, favorite unit with transformation is Outburst of Emotions, STR Vegeta. Um, that's the unit where he goes into rage mode. And as you guys saw when I was doing the EZA event uh, with Gohan, he basically saved my butt many, many times because he goes into rage mode, does a ton of damage, and takes takes zero damage while dealing it. So let's check out that power-up real quick. So this is Turles once he gets the power-up. And then let's see. Okay, so here's the condition that you have to meet. Power-up, 25% chance to eat the fruit of the Tree of Might when HP is 80% or below, and the power-up will last for three turns. And then his 12 key multiplier is 150%. Um, what's what's really good about this, guys? When you're doing bot, when you're doing any type of battle, right? You know how when you're going on the board trying to get to the boss, you can get all the power ups, or you can get Zenny, or sometimes you can get hit by one of the one of the spaces that that does damage to you. If you're using this unit, you can utilize stuff like that to your advantage. So. If you hit a few of those damage spaces before you even get into the battle, you can drop your 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 HP below 80% before the battle even starts. And if you get lucky, you can trigger this transformation as soon as the first battle begins, and then for three turns you have this power up. But he looks pretty cool. Let's take a look at him right here. I mean, he looks pretty badass in his powered up state. He almost looks like um, the soup, the Ultra Saiyan, right? Where all his muscles get huge. Except poor Turles uh, never go Super Saiyan. Well, at least uh, not now. <laughs> Who knows what they'll do in the future. But anyways, guys, this is some really exciting news. We got some banners coming. We got a whole new event coming. And then, guys, Broly is coming. I can't wait. They better update and make a new L.I. Broly that... I mean, we don't even know what his possibilities are because we haven't seen the movie yet. We don't even know if he has a transformation that they're hiding from us. I mean, guys... From everything I've seen and read, this Broly, this new Broly, is stronger than a God of Destruction. Which means either his legendary form is OP as hell, or he has a transformation we haven't seen yet. But we might see it when his card comes to dock him. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to smash that like button, subscribe for more great content, and as always, more good stuff coming soon. See you guys.